Two Broke Rednecks present. I hate scrapbooking. So the title of the film is Scrapbook? Ah, uh, there it is. Where'd Plus put a title, though? The director wanted a screen name that no one could pronounce. Who the hell names your kid Rennie? I don't see Shatner, so we're safe. When naming this place, they decided, let's just name our restaurant after three random places. So this is a sheriff department's print? Maybe we should put it back then. A community production? I love Joe McHale, so this should be funny. Hello there, I'm Joe Casalino, the undersheriff of Sonoma County. What does an undersheriff do? He protects the sheriff's balls. I'm sorry I asked. So that you may become better acquainted with a serious problem which law enforcement is faced with today. That problem is bad movies made by sheriff departments. Hundreds of children, both boys and girls, have become victims of child molesters, which I shall refer to as strangers. And I will consider my wife young and ignore all emotions. First of all, do not play in deserted places by yourself. But those places are more fun! Candy or gifts from strangers. Do not play around or go into isolated restrooms by yourselves. So remember, kids with pissy pants are safe kids. An adult sits next to you and bothers you in any way. Get up and tell the manager. Because it's best to share the experience. The person that picks you up could be dangerous. Now let's watch the picture and see what can happen if you are careless and accept a ride with a stranger. And you can ignore all that other stuff I just said. But she only had one little rooster. His name was Roosty. This film just keeps the dumb names coming. Round and fat. They had feathers all over them. Wasn't that funny, Rennie? Not really, but I'll agree to it. Just keep you from I hitting me again. Do I have to, Mom? Do I have to? Yes, you do. It's getting late. When will Daddy be home? Well, he called from the bar and said he wasn't drunk enough to look at me, so I don't know. Only if Judy's mom's making her rum punch because I need a drink. Okay, honey, off to bed. Do something useful like restacking the newspaper. Looks more like grandmother than mother. Mm, good night, honey. And ignore the grasping hands from under the bed. Now to roll me a fatty. How many newspapers does she have? Note to self, avoid Santa Rosa as a place to live. Too much death. She looks like the third doctor. Hey, it's my grandma! I knew I shouldn't have drank all that schnapps. Is 
Is this the episode of Gilligan's Island where Gilligan's on trial for being Mr. Hyde? And I got a lot of drinking to do today. Uh, cleaning. Yeah, that's it. Get your jacket in. Is this woman on speed? Because she keeps fidgeting about. You've come straight home from school today. This is Judy's party. Okay. And they better have rum punch. And I'll get sloshed. Have a nice day. Okay, bye, brother. And if a stranger offers you a ride, it's just your dad. What, she have just a drop of coffee in that cup? A pink Cadillac? Is she getting abducted by Elvis? Dad, you know I am. Now take your drunk ass to work. Okay. All right, darling. Come on. Because only people with something wrong with them drive pink cars. Elvis had a pink car. I rest my case. This man is so drunk, he doesn't know he just abducted his own kid. Cause I love you for your pink Cadillac. Does all this woman do is read stuff? She is softly made. I wonder what's keeping Rennie. I hope she wasn't taken by her dad. Er, I mean, a stranger. I'm so going to beat that kid for making me miss out on the rum punch. Captain, we're getting some strange tricorder readings. Hello, liquor store? Do y'all deliver? What do you mean she left for the day? Mrs. Cabello, is Rennie still there? If so, tell her to get me a pack of smokes on the way home. Not all day? She left home at the right time this morning. I know, because my first John was here at 8 on the dot. Well, I'll call the sheriff's office. Thank you. Thank you very much. She's awful calm for someone with a missing child. Please. I need someone to talk dirty to. Hello, this is Miss Cummins at 2029 Siesta Lane. Can you send a hot Mr. cop Mr. out? I didn't arrive at school today. I'm sure there's something wrong. Would you send a deputy out of the house? I need one here when she comes home so they can prevent me from killing her. I know there's something wrong. I'm mildly concerned. Now to get ready to hit on the deputy. If Shatner gets out of that car... Yes, I know. You're leaving. Take me with you. It's Officer Doofy from the Special Ed Division. And if they did, poke their eyes out. Does this pool have an electrified barrier around it? Because that would be cool. Make yourself comfortable. Take your pants off. Really left the school this morning and she never got there. I call the school and they haven't seen her all day. 
I swear, Kristen Stewart would show more emotion about this kid being missing. It's just not like her to do anything like this, and I'm so worried. Maybe she's a Vulcan. Would explain why she's so emotionless. She's a little over four foot tall. Gus is like a sailor and drinks like a mick. Also, she has no emotions either. I'm so concerned. I know something must have happened. Well, Miss Cummings, we'll put this description of the child out on the air right away, and we'll start looking for her. Are we certain Ed Wood didn't direct this? I really, I just know something's wrong. Well, we just let you know just as soon as we find out anything, or if we find anything, we'll contact you. Right Until then, stay emotionless right, like you are now. Damn, I almost got him to go to bed with me. Did you find out anything? Yeah, the lady a couple of doors down saw a little girl get into a pink four-door sedan this morning with some guy driving. Granted, she was swatting at invisible elves around her head the whole time. In fact, her mother is mildly concerned. My dad had a camper like that we used to ride in. And you lived to tell about it? And a young Ega is out for his afternoon stroll. Oh boy, I'm gonna score! Da 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 Hey, come see the dead chick! Only five cents! Did someone say free donuts? She has on white shoes. Call an ambulance? No, you won't need an ambulance. You'll have to call the corner. This girl is dead. Let's get lucky with her. Description of the missing Cummings girl. You better notify her parents, and I'll stay here and wait for the cop corner. Remember, he's going to wait for the cops. Uh, coroner. I get it now. She's Kristen Stewart's grandmother. Oh, hello there. Come in. Take your pants off. You used that riff already. I did. Well, that's what she wants. Next to her dead body. On the upside, I saved a bunch of money by switching to Geico. Whoa, acid flashback. I couldn't score with this young oh, cop. Right now. I just gotta stop eating chili before I go to bed. You have all seen the picture. Unfortunately. The ending. Remember, this could have happened and is happening. So let's be careful. Remember what you have seen and heard. Do not let your guard down for a minute. And that never show so emotions. Thank God this is over with. Dear Bark Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better.